Hi everyone, it's Chrissy Hughes again, your life skills and deployment educator at Fleet and Family Support Center in San Diego. This is the last, the fifth and final video on pre-deployment with regards to um, the current situation with COVID-19. I wanted to get on really quick and the last two um, items we have to discuss are financial planning with regards to deployment and any San Diego area resources that could be useful to you or your family members during a deployment. So first, um, I'm going to actually use uh, this section of this pre-deployment to really plug some of our other departments at Fleet & Family. Financial services, to be exact, is um, the first one I'm going to talk about. Um, this is financial planning. Um, so with the deployment, uh, service members will probably have more money coming in than they are going out. At least, let's hope so, right? Um, so they will have an opportunity to be either be saving quite a bit of money or have money that they can use for some kind of financial planning. Um, with regard to a deployment, um, we want to develop a savings plan and maybe a plan for that money that's coming in. We also want to look at um, how bills will be paid, any allotments that we have going to family members or children, um, make sure that we have a plan for taxes. The good thing about COVID-19 is we all got um, an additional extension on our taxes. Yay! Um, service members can also defer taxes if uh, tax season does come during a deployment cycle. Um, taxes are important. Make sure that insurance um, is covered when you are away on deployment. Um, if you are storing your car, one of the nice things that you can check um, check and see if, if it's available to you through your insurer. If you are just storing a car for a nine month period, typical length of a deployment, you can actually get your insurance rates lower during that time. Um, also check you know, for any additional insurance that you might need for home, uh, boat, any of those other ones. Uh, motorcycle, things like that. Um, a deployment account, um, any account access, people that need to have access to your funds, uh, the bank credit notifications. Um, the other thing that I like to remind service members with this one is deployment's a really good time to exercise your right to use a credit freeze. So if you haven't used a credit freeze before, um, basically you don't want anyone to be using or acting as you um, during a deployment when you are away. Uh, we know in our offices that many times that service members are the victim of uh, identity theft. It is because someone knows that they are deployed and that they are away from, um, from their home and they will use their credit to then buy on their behalf. This is a really unfortunate situation that happens, but can be um, mitigated most of the time by just a simple credit freeze through the three major credit bureaus. Um, the last thing we have here is any storage that you have if you're not going to be in your in your home. Uh, make sure that your storage is paid up or that you have regular uh, withdrawals coming out for that um, storage fee. And then know what your rights are with regards to the Service Members Relief Act. Um, this will cover a lot of things actually. Service Members Relief Act will actually um, help you to lower your interest rates for any debt that you have before becoming an active duty service member. Um, the other thing that the Service Members Relief Act can do is during a deployment, it can actually lower your rates or help you get out of an existing contract that you might have for a lease or for a phone contract or something to that effect. So know what your rights are and the people that are really the experts at Fleen Family are personal financial counselors. So it behooves you and it's a great idea to go ahead and make a call to them, let them know you have an upcoming deployment and then make sure that you're checking all of the boxes and making sure you have your financial plan intact before going on a deployment. Um, the good news about COVID-19 is we still have financial counselors that are working for you. They can't work in their office setting, but you can work with them over the phone or through email. Um, the last thing is our San Diego area resources with regard to pre-deployment. Um, I talked a little bit earlier about United Through Reading. United Through Reading is a really great program if you want to get on and uh, read a story to your child, or even you could even use it for a niece or nephew, grandchild. Um, get on there, read them a story, and then they'll have a story and a um, video of you reading that story that they can look back on um, when you're away. Um, larger ships sometimes will have United Through Reading on ships, so you can actually send that while you're out underway. Um, the school liaison officers and our CYP are also a great uh, resource for you to make sure that you have some 
respite care for those caregivers in line, um, that your children also have some ways that they can reach out and be involved with other people in your absence. So reach out to them for any additional resources for children with regards to deployment. Um, another great place that I like to mention is Military One Source. Military One Source is like 24 seven fleet and family. Lots of deployment resources uh, for our family members and our service members. Um, additionally, I really like to recommend Focus for families, families overcoming under stress. Um, there, it's taught by, um, it's resiliency training that's taught by counselors. Um, so they have some really great programs to help children deal with separation and deployment. Um, I've used it myself, I don't mind saying that, and I think it's a really great program. Um, the nice thing about Focus too is if you're in a relationship with someone who's not a dependent, this is something that you can use as well. And right now during COVID-19, they actually have Telefocus, so you can still utilize that service even though you are um, not seeing someone um, in their regular setting. Um, the Armed Services YMCA has additional resources for families and for service members um, experiencing deployment. Us, of course, Fleet and Family Support Center. Um, the Navy Marine Corps Relief Society is someone we recommend for any additional financial uh, constraints that you might have with regard to um, deployment. You can actually go in and fill out a form at Navy Marine Corps Relief Society and leave it to your signif your spouse. Um, it's mostly dependents that need to use utilize that service. But should they experience a financial hardship, you can have that form already filled out for them so that they can access some of those um, emergency grants or um, interest-free loans uh, for a financial emergency. Chaplain's Corps is a great um, organization to reach out to as well for any of their additional deployment resources. One of the things I really like to Mentioned with the Chaplain's Corps is their Credo workshops for individuals or for couples, those resiliency and um, kind of like self-building betterment workshops. Um, those are really fantastic. I didn't mention the Red Cross earlier. Um, make sure your family members have the information to send a Red Cross message in the event of a family emergency. This is the best way to reach um, the ship and the service member while they are out underway if you have an emergency. Um, they can get that to the service member. STEP works similarly to Navy Marine Corps Relief Society for interest-free loans or um, grants in some situations. It's usually E6 and below um, to provide some assistance in, uh, in times of deployment. The USO is also fantastic for helping out with service members in any uh, situations related to deployment. One of the other resources that I don't see re listed on here is um, uh, Operation Homefront, which offers services um, wide as, uh, you know, just general resiliency classes to help, to information and referral, and then even so far as like car repairs during deployment. Um, all right, I think that's all I have for this section of pre-deployment coming to you from my home during COVID-19. I want you to know that our centralized scheduling at Fleet and Family San Diego is still available. This is the phone number to reach if you have any questions or you would like to speak to someone uh, further about deployment, resources for families, any questions that you might have with finances. Um, we are here for you. Um, so thanks for hanging in there with us. Um, we really um, wish you the best of luck during your upcoming deployment. Know that Fleet and Family will be here for you and I am so excited to see everyone's faces when we can finally see each other and um, get back to our normal operations. Anyway, thanks again. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for your service. Bye.